Hi. Uh, we'll take a look at uh, transformation uh, in new norm uh, in this uh, presentation. A uh, little bit about myself. Um, I am Venkatesh Balakumar. I am an experienced CTO. I've done head of technology roles uh, in many organizations. Um, I'm also helping a lot of startups. Um, I work with a lot of financial services. I'm an advocate of um, cloud, AI, machine learning, uh, big data, and DevOps have created quite a lot of uh, um, strategies, uh, built teams based on uh, these uh, technologies. Let's take a look at uh, what the new normal um, is all about. So I'm not going to actually bore you with uh, what we have actually encountered in the last few months. I actually wanted to discuss about what we are going to do now and what is going to happen in the near future. This is based on business IT. So the business IT and the strategy. That's the context. So if you take a look at what has happened in the last three months, which I want to quickly go through, and uh, this is not uh, about the work or IT which we are doing. This is about some of the findings uh, which scientists did in the last three or four months. That period which we encountered uh, in our life, probably once in a lifetime, this happened for most of us. Hopefully, let's keep it like that. It happens only once in a lifetime. Um, this lockdown was the longest period of quiet in the human history. We all might have actually encountered that. We all might have uh, um, felt it during this time. Less number of traffic, quiet times. So... This is one of the byproducts um, of the lockdown. Many, of the, uh, many scientists did a lot of research during this lockdown period, uh, which I'm not going to bore you with. Um, next comes um, uh, Facebook data, which um, I actually found in one of the uh, um, Zoom meetings, which I went recently uh, with DX Connect. Uh, so Facebook presented about uh, what has actually changed during the last three months. Um, so one of the things which struck me was uh, this point where they say like 94% of the people who are using Facebook actually changed their daily habit after COVID-19. This is like, you know, the time we get up, the time we eat food, the time we speak with our other people because Facebook do have data about our activities uh, through their app as well as uh, WhatsApp. And what kind of uh, things which we discuss with other people, everything actually changed. The whole world actually had gone through this change. So these are some of the fun facts or facts about uh, the lockdown period. Let's go into uh, the new normal. Let's define what's the new normal is the key performance indicators or of the new normal. So we always want business as usual in any situation. That's what we're going to expect from the new normal also. Wherever we work from, even though we are apart, you know, we have, we want to actually work together. We want to use technologies that actually keeps us together during this time. This is actually the new normal, which um, I'm going to talk about um, in this uh, presentation. And uh, one thing which might we might have noticed, many of us might have actually encountered is uh, um, the DR and business continuity plans, which we have done and tested in the last so many years within our, our organizations. You know, like um, I have seen um, long ago, um, uh, we'll ask one of the network uh, uh, person to go and sit um, in one of the routers, near the routers, and then we'll uh, call them up and then we'll ask them to pull the plug and then we'll just do the test. Um, and then we'll also do the uh, test by asking people to work from home more, uh, trying to find out whether our uh, network is capable of handling that. So those plans which we tested before is now being done on real time. So these are uh, the KPIs or these are the indicators uh, which we can um, have in the new normal. Uh, so the main point here is business as usual in any situation. That's what we are actually aiming to do. 
um during the last three months uh, i had the opportunity to speak with so many people and organizations um meetings um from my home and i found out so many uh, um outputs from those meetings uh, and inputs from the people who attended the meetings so i created a small swot analysis on what i discussed what i heard what i gathered as a data from them so looking at this analysis of the new normal actually what has happened what is happening now uh, many people say like uh, they uh, are seeing better meetings compared to what um they used to be having before um the uh, the pandemic or covid-19 uh, so they are able to meet quickly and then decide quickly on uh, many aspects uh, within the organization so that's one of the trends which i which many people actually said uh, is happening which i have also um uh, seen personally um lot of collaborations more collaborations increased between um the people within the organization and within the vendors um and other people who are giving support so using various technologies uh, not only uh, using uh, chats not only using emails but um yeah, personally what i use, usually do is like i keep a team uh, whatsapp group for all the teams with whom i work with i still actually maintain them and then keep in connection with them uh, that helps us to quickly send a message to them and then do some work as and when needed uh, so wherever they are you know if they are not able to pick up the message immediately they'll be able to pick it up when they go home or uh, when they actually see the um um of mobile phone um, so that's how actually this has happened more collaboration and more time people get more time now they many say like no they um are spending less time in commuting to their um office and then they are spending more productive time uh in um uh, in, in in giving um the best of them uh, during the work so it's not like you know everybody um um science has proven that everybody is not uh, able to work from 9 to 5 or a defined time everybody has their ups and downs in a day so this has given that flexibility for many people to actually work in times when they are actually up and having more energy and more ideas and more thoughts so that's the strength uh, which uh, i've seen uh, during the new uh, normal and uh, weaknesses uh, of course there is a new risk of uh, working from home uh, even i have experienced that actually i started working um after putting something in the kitchen in the in the hob and then i came and started working i completely forgot and then the whole thing burnt completely so um luckily nothing much happened uh, just the food burnt uh that's the kind of risks which i am talking about while working from home um of course there is a delicate balance between other um activities which we usually do at home and the work uh, obviously you know that um compensate with the strength which i spoke before about uh, more time and uh, more flexibility on the way people work and next one i hear is completely contrary to uh, the better, better meetings and better decision making some people feel like there is slowness or they've seen slow decision making um rather than it taking um you know going to someone and then asking um in their desk um they it takes some time for them to um keep in touch with them um and contact them i mean they are working from home and then uh, take the decision um based on the inputs uh, or outputs that received from that person next one is an issue with onboarding which we all might have actually seen um when a new person is um onboarded into the organization during this challenging time um there are many issues is like you know um providing them with uh, the welcome pack um sending them uh, their laptops um to their home and all and letting them actually log into the system um for the first time and then introduce introducing them uh, to the entire organization and the IT and the operations and everything 
So that is a bit of a challenge. Now probably it will be all right as we actually go along the new normal. I'm going to actually tell about that um, specifically on the knowledge management and knowledge sharing, which needs um, much improvement uh, during the new normal to um, facilitate uh, such onboarding operations. Next comes the opportunities. Uh, so opportunities are people felt like they have had time to stop and rationalize what they were actually doing. You know, maybe a project, maybe may a program or investment in new technology or investment in um, um, something which um, they wanted to um, provide as a service to others. So those things, um, they actually had an opportunity to stop for a couple of months and then think about it and then rationalize. So next one is tech rationalization. Again, you know, um, this gave an opportunity for people to um, find out what actually works, what actually doesn't work when people started to work from remote. And they are able to identify these systems um, which requires uh, improvement uh, some systems which are not even being used but still running and they can actually quickly uh, shut it down. Um, so these things which they found as an opportunity during this lockdown. Next comes learning, which is very interesting because people found a lot of time actually to learn new things during the lockdown. Um, uh, I've seen many reports coming out from uh, online learning platforms like people started buying more courses and then started actually uh, going through the courses and I've seen many people um, who um, I spoke to some of my friends actually who go on actually buying courses during the time when the course comes in 60% um, 70% off in Udemy and then they completely forget that and then again you know it keeps um, in uh, in their inbox uh, without even knowing that they bought that course so uh, they found time to learn um, and improve their skills maybe a soft skill or a hard skill, um, uh, IT skills, whatever you call it. So they find actually opportunity to um, stop and learn during this time. Threats are um, a bit um, harsh because um, many roles actually uh, may go or many roles actually went away during this um, um, pandemic, unfortunately. So um, basically um, being positive, Hopefully everything, when the new normal is up and running, um, roles will come back and then people start to realize like what they missed and then they'll be, able, they'll be able to bring back people in to their organization. New projects got delayed or new projects got completely shut down because of the um, uh, new normal, which we have already seen, um, which resulted in a lot of recruitments being stopped and there's a huge cybersecurity threat that has come up because of uh, the new normal. When people started to work from home, people tend to access their applications, everything remotely, um, which probably hosted on-premise or hosted in the cloud. So there is quite a lot of um, opportunity for um, cyber criminals to try and um, interface with people's uh, network and then try to steal uh, data out of it. So there's a huge cybersecurity threat that has actually uh, come up recently. So um, there's quite a lot of um, um, work that needs to be done on that aspect in this new normal. A lot of uh, investment need to be made on uh, cybersecurity in the new normal. Next one is, of course, office parties. Uh, many miss office parties. I miss going out with uh, my team. Uh, of course, I uh, know um, when I uh, uh, provide my service to an organization, I usually keep my team close to my um, heart. And everybody, um, we had a lot of things actually happening around, like you know, we used to have cook and bring, uh, we share food, uh, we go out, um, uh, once in a couple of weeks, you know, and you know, as part of the agile process, uh, many teams uh, tend to go out um, um, 
during um, their retrospective and then do what their agile retrospective uh, in during a lunch time uh, out in the restaurants that actually got completely stopped now and hopefully in the new normal we'll come back to um, meeting people uh, very soon so let's see about transformation now so we spoke about transformation in new normal we've defined what new normal is we're going to define what transformation is it's a bit simple transformation is just change so change if you look at in any way it's something really huge a change in organization change in the way people work changing the people mindset how they actually um used to work before everything is changed now so it's nothing but change in people as well as business it i have specifically given like not business and it because nowadays and of course in the future business it is same it's the same unit in an organization if something happens to business it affects the it if something happens in it it affects the business so they actually go together they are not um two different entities now so let's define the new normals on the business it what is actually going to happen um look at the it side of that men diagram if you take business and as one side and it as another side intersecting uh, with each other i'm going to actually speak about uh, the it side of it uh now um so we'll take these topics um and then i'll quickly go through them um, new normal on data system operations security audit knowledge sharing and it budget um now let's look at the data so what we expect in the new normal on data so we expect data to be accessible from anywhere securely so that's the thing which uh, we want and also data should be easy to find that is categorized curated behind certain apis securely um make sure like you know um the data is reliable because of the curation that has happened and also anonymized and classified uh, we can't actually let open the data uh, to everyone and also in an organization which uh, is spread around the world uh, obviously you know you cannot um, export data from one location to another location without anonymizing or classifying the data uh, so next one um comes the centralized part of the data so specifically within the legal boundaries uh, we have to make sure it is in a central location where people will be able to uh access it from anywhere and it should be available all the time so that's the data side of the new normal next comes the system side uh which is your it applications uh, your pass vendor applications everything which we access as part of our uh, business as usual and day to day activity so these should be secure and accessible from anywhere so you must have less downtime uh, compared to what you have before because if something goes down actually that's it like you know whole cycle of productivity gets um um completely affected this will have more effect in the new normal compared to what you what we had in the office because if something happened when we were all in the same location in an office um we'll have the ability to quickly call up the person who's responsible for a particular application or the team who's responsible for that and then make them to fix it quickly and then things start to move quickly but in this time uh, we must make sure we build the system with the key requirement that it has to go through less downtime it has to be resilient actually and the system should also be repairable and replaceable easily um i don't want to actually give away more uh, on the technical side on what to do with this i'll come to that later on the take away part of uh, this uh, presentation and next comes easy to develop so basically you know um we used to have teams sitting in the office uh, trying to develop these um, uh, projects of uh, and you know we all were together in the same place but in this new normal we should be in a situation where the products or the projects which we are actually working on 
or easy to develop from anywhere uh, in the world or anywhere which we are where we are sitting of course anywhere in the world actually raises and under uh, opens another box pandora box of uh, outsourcing which i don't want to get into it now um, that's completely different way of uh, managing uh, compared to uh, in house development or purchasing something from a vendor uh, so next comes the agility in the way which we develop system we want to have a agile way of delivering the systems and of course i want to put a point on cloud native uh, in this systems new normal because cloud native make sure everything is put in the cloud nothing is dependent on anything on premise and we'll be able to rely on the cloud cloud native features and we'll be able to develop the systems uh, from anywhere the, in the world or anywhere um from my, from our home or different offices and that's that's how actually uh, i expect uh, the new normal to happen now and on and on the coming um months and years and next comes the new normal of uh, security and audit so cyber security as i discussed before in the swat analysis is the key now it's something which need to be immediately looked at and immediately uh, implemented within the organization audited within the organization and we don't want um to end up like um, in your organization which went through um you know ransomware um, in the recent past so cyber security is the key a uh, new normal which need to be immediately addressed next comes the privacy engineering that privacy engineering concept is uh, completely um uh, a large concept on its own um i just want to quickly um give you a, give you an idea of what privacy engineering is privacy engineering is something if you have a huge amount of data or a data set with you and if it contains any privacy data or privacy fields in the data privacy engineering make sure that gets anonymized that gets gets masked before you start consuming the data so this is a new um it um trend or it um uh, strategy that's coming up uh, which is being used by many organization now which are using big data privacy engineering so next comes identity and access management which is of course you know comes under the security or cyber security also so basically you know we many tend to uh, utilize identity and access management uh, which are on premise and those need to be moved into cloud and a new way of managing uh, your devices uh, your applications and access managements uh, need to be defined in a new normal next one is activity audit so basically everything need to be audited and you will be in now from now on in the new normal you will end up with a huge amount of activity data that need to be preserved in case something happens which is um against an organization's or enterprise policy so we'll be able to go back into the audit and we'll be able to find out what has what has actually happened so i expect a lot of activity audit or audit to happen during this new normal uh, time so next comes a new normal of operations um this actually brings in new practices like agile if you are not using agile devops sre a lot of new practices need to be uh incorporated into an organization um and should be a part of the uh, it strategy actually uh so that's um the the, the new normal um, of operations you know this definitely facilitates um uh, systems development in a huge uh, way because um incorporating agile and devops uh, definitely you know increases the productivity of uh, the development teams uh, the systems which we develop and deliver everything uh, faster um, and better than it used to before next comes cloud native that also comes under the operations 
where everything is um, you know um, I'm trying to actually define it in a um, very neutral non technical way so cloud native is something where you everything runs from the cloud everything so operations should also be taking into account uh, the cloud native aspects and should be managing the cloud native aspects in the new normal next comes the it budgeting so a lot of capex will now move into opex you now for example you know on premise to cloud and new or increased uh, in collaboration tools and softwares you now a lot of new licenses need to be bought because many people started to work from home uh, probably like we'll have uh, uh, to uh, improvise on the way we collaborate probably invest on some chat tools and softwares uh we may need to actually encounter new vendors i mean need to bring them in uh for facilitating uh, the new normal so that's also going to happen that also has a significant um investment to be done and of course investment in cyber security is one of the major things which um i advocate uh, during the new normal so let's take a look at the takeaways what we have discussed now i'm going to actually summarize that so data availability and data management are the key during a new normal you know anyone can hold any amount of data nowadays actually you can have a huge amount of data lying in your um uh, servers or on the cloud um a lot of data sets but you should know where your data is and what the data actually means to you means like you know you can have data catalogs um you'll be able to have data lakes actually api is in front of those and uh, data to access the data securely and so the the, the crux here is you no know, data in your finger in fingerprint who has data in their fingerprint is the is the king so we have seen in the recent announcement from the oxford um uh, vaccine trial they said like you no know, they've done the work which is supposed to be done in 5 years in 6 months time so this i believe is possible because of the big data and the data management and data availability uh, with the research team which researched on uh, covid-19 um next is survival depends on how quick we adapt to the change so this is not an option now uh we had to actually do these changes within the organization bring in these changes how responsive it you know rather than being reactive to these changes um so not only actually to the changes of because of new normal but also to the business changes that um is the result of the new normal um next is uh, systems should be responsive quickly replaceable and repairable um either in parts or whole so there are so many other it strategies or it technologies actually we need to uh, bring in into the organizations if we are not doing it before like microservices apis uh, messaging cloud native saas pass so this actually will help us to be responsive um, and make sure like the systems are quickly repairable and replaceable next is the knowledge sharing this is the most important part of uh, the um um new normal uh, which will be uh, doing we should be doing so knowledge sharing or knowledge management um should be nurtured within the organization and more investment need to be done on this aspect because everybody is working from different locations and everybody is actually uh, doing work at different time and when with knowledge being at a centralized location and managed properly uh, will have a uh, same language spoken between on uh, different teams uh, within the organization and same understanding and knowledge uh, being obtained or exchanged between teams so this is one of the important takeaways uh, uh, on the new normal um next one is you know stronger it roadmap and strategy that need to be done based on these takeaways uh, for the next 6 months uh, to probably you know 3 year time um i would say like starts with 6 months and then we'll uh, go ahead and then create one uh, one uh, for the 
longer duration. So something need to be done for the next six months and strong IT roadmap um, and strategy need to be uh, devised uh, for the new normal. Um, another thing is investing in the future. Um, of course, definitely on cybersecurity, you know, and data science, um, um, machine learning and artificial intelligence um, are the future. So more investment need to be done on these sides. Um, you may ask, like, what is the takeaway on this for the new normal, uh, you know, having data science or um, machine learning? Um, there are many use cases uh, which I can actually cite. Probably I don't have time now. Uh, probably we can discuss it later if somebody wants. Uh, do actually um, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to actually discuss on um, those topics. Um, of course, you know, change management uh, has to happen. Um, you have to have a really strict and stringent and definite change management that need to be uh, happening during this uh, new normal. You know, specifically on eliminating fears and acceptance of the new normal. Um, I'm, I'm a big advocate of um, uh, mental health uh, for uh, people. So, uh, you know, uh, I do not actually want to manage only the IT, but also, you know, I want to manage uh, people's um, uh, mental health and support their mental health uh, in uh, during my um, uh, service in any organization. So those things need to be taken care, uh, you know, even more rigorously uh, in this new normal. Um, of course, cultural reevaluation. You know, the way we used to use used to work before, we got used to um, doing certain things that has completely changed now. So. Um, new people you know we have to unlearn a lot of things actually and we have to actually be transparent uh, otherwise things are not going to work uh, when people are working from apart and a lot of um, changes can happen in the software development life cycle in your IT um, organization um, realigning uh, your uh, business strategies um, or IT, IT strategies uh, to the business and the other way around. So, so many um, re-evaluation need to be happening during this time. Next one is innovate. So, that's what I would um, um, recommend uh, as a last point here and an important point. So, which I always uh, nurture in my uh, work is uh, innovation. So, things like, you know, gamification, hackathons, you know, knowledge sharing, the new ways of knowledge sharing. So these things need to be there as part of the new normal within an organization. So probably like, um, I believe I have uh, not touched a lot of deep IT and technology side and then try to keep myself uh, to uh, more generic terminologies. So hopefully uh, everyone actually enjoyed uh, uh, this uh, presentation. Thank you very much uh, for giving this opportunity to uh, speak with you all. Uh, thank you again.